A lot of people have been saying that Gypsy Rose has not influenced the younger generation, but that's actually not true. And I'm actually seeing something that she has. I want you guys to check this out. But while you're checking this out, I want you to pay attention to the details. There are a lot of details that are very similar. And I feel like you guys need to pay attention to that. So let's roll the clip. Joining us live from East Point Police Department with more on what exactly happened, Ingrid. Yeah, you know, it's really disturbing. A mother takes away her daughter's cell phone and then her child comes up with a plan to kill her mother. Back in July, East Point police were called to the 24,000 block of Roxana. They're going to investigate a home invasion and possibly in a an attempted murder. But as the investigation unraveled, something sinister was revealed about a 14-year-old girl living on the street. The minor daughter had uh, met a, another minor um, on a social media app. But the 14-year-old's time on social media was put in jeopardy. Her mother, who had no knowledge of the guy her child met on the app, decided to take away her daughter's phone as a form of punishment. Because she was having a lot of issues at home and not following the rules. So the teen and her new 17-year-old boyfriend came up with a solution. They decided together that they were going to kill mom. In the early morning hours of July 14th, the 14-year-old allegedly leaves the door to her home open so her boyfriend can enter. He went into the mom's bedroom and began to attempt to suffocate her with a body pillow that was on the bed. The mom screamed. And then he started choking her. But the woman's mother and grandmother to the 14-year-old intervened and told the 17-year-old to leave, which he did, but he left something behind. His shoes were left behind, and we believe that maybe he took those off to be quieter. A knife from the victim's house was also found in the street when the suspect fled. The mom was transported to the hospital, but will survive her injuries. And after nearly two months of investigating, police took the 14 and 17 year olds into custody. The mother of the 14 year old told police her daughter is a problem child and has a record. Both have been charged as adults by the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. The biggest evidence came from the 14 year old. From social media, from her social media account. The 17 year old facing a number of charges, including conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. The 14 year old also facing charges, including solicitation of murder. The male received a 2.5 million dollar bond so i can't imagine that he's going anywhere you know anytime soon and the female was given a one million dollar bond so they're both being held the names of the teens not being released because of their ages the investigation has shot the police department i don't know that we've ever seen anything on this level from this age group and as this investigation continues police want to make this clear everything you do on social media leaves a footprint Nothing is secret. I mean, everything is able to be recovered and found when you're using social media. And although the mother survived, her blood vessels were greatly damaged because of that strangulation. Needless to say, these teens are facing a number of future court dates. Back to you. You cannot tell me that this does not show what I've been saying. There's too many similarities, and it's not coincidentally. And the fact that Gypsy has gotten away with it, became a millionaire, has gotten fame from it, she gets free stuff. You don't think other people envy that and other people feel like, well, hmm, maybe I should do that to my mom. Because all I have to do is tell a story. Because that's exactly what Gypsy Rose has done. I don't know. You guys drop down below how you feel. I would love to hear your thoughts. But also click the plus sign and you guys have a great day. Bye bye for now.